Hello, this is Steve with Hydrogen for Health. One of the most asked questions I get is, what is the difference between all your hydrogen inhalers? So I thought I'd go through each of our inhalers today and tell you the differences between these systems. The first thing I want to show you is the actual size of the inhalers. It's a little bit hard to know the size of these on a video. What I have here is our hydrogen water bottle. This is a handheld unit. I'm gonna stick this right here in the middle so that you can kind of get an idea of how big these are. So from left to right, we have the all new HX450. This is a hydrogen oxygen inhaler. It will also do Brown's gas. Here we have the HX900. It is a hydrogen and oxygen inhaler and will also do Brown's gas. Here we have the H2 Life Brown's gas inhaler. This is version five. This system makes oxyhydrogen or Brown's gas only. So what it does is it mixes its hydrogen and oxygen together, it outputs a mixed gas of 67% hydrogen and 33% oxygen, or also called Brown's gas. Here you have our HX3000. This is our large clinical device. It is our highest output system. Now, as far as gas output, the HX450 will make 450 milliliters of hydrogen and oxygen. The HX900 will make 900 milliliters of hydrogen and oxygen. The H2 Life version five will make 1200 milliliters of hydrogen and oxygen. And the HX3000 will make 3000 milliliters of hydrogen and oxygen. As far as straight hydrogen gas, the HX450 will make approximately 325 milliliters of hydrogen and 125 milliliters of oxygen. The HX900 will make 600 milliliters of hydrogen and 300 milliliters of oxygen. The H2 Life, 800 milliliters of hydrogen and 400 milliliters of oxygen. And the HX3000 will make 2000 milliliters of hydrogen and 1,000 milliliters of oxygen. All of these machines use a nasal cannula to inhale the gas. The end of the, the end of your cannula simply connects to the desired port. On the 450, the hydrogen port is here. On the HX900, your hydrogen port is there. On the H2 Life, your output port is here. And on the HX3000, you have three ports at the top. Two of them are hydrogen, one of them are oxygen. So this system here, two people can inhale at the same time. Simply connect your cannula to the desired port there. Now to inhale Brown's gas, you need an adapter for three of these machines. Use an adapter like this, has a couple hoses and a Y there. To inhale Brown's gas or mixed gas, we're gonna mix the hydrogen with the oxygen by connecting it there. That turns this into a 67% hydrogen and 33% oxygen mix. Then simply connect your nasal cannula there. We're gonna do the same thing with the HX900. Connect both the hydrogen and oxygen port. Now you can inhale Brown's gas or oxyhydrogen is also called. And remember with this machine, it's only a mixed gas. So you connect your can cannula to the output port and you're gonna get 67% hydrogen, 33% oxygen. On the HX3000, you have a center port, which is oxygen, and then two outer ports, which are hydrogen. So you connect, connect a hose to the hydrogen and the oxygen, and then connect your nasal cannula to the Y like so. Another question I get is, why would I wanna breathe pure hydrogen or just the hydrogen over the mixed gas Brown's gas or oxyhydrogen. It's important to remember that the hydrogen gas is the beneficial gas for health. There's over 3,000 publications and studies that support hydrogen as a therapeutic gas. So it's very important to remember when choosing a hydrogen inhalation system or a Brown's gas inhalation system that it's the hydrogen that is the beneficial gas. So now there's the question, why do I need any oxygen? And the answer is, you really don't, but a lot of my clients, myself also, feel like it's more comfortable to inhale a mixed gas of hydrogen oxygen than just straight hydrogen, especially when you're inhaling gas from the HX3000 
it makes so much hydrogen gas that it displaces some of the oxygen that you would normally breathe in. So adding the oxygen back in, when you inhale the gas at that high rate, you're replacing the oxygen that, that is displaced from the hydrogen gas. Most clients will say that it's more comfortable to breathe a mixed gas than just straight hydrogen gas. But there's one thing to remember about a mixed gas. When you're making hydrogen water, as I'll show you how to right now, you'll take the provided water diffusion stone, which all these systems come with. You wanna connect it to just the hydrogen output only, or combining the ports to output a mixed gas will greatly reduce the amount of hydrogen that can be put into the water. So when you're making hydrogen water, you want to use the hydrogen port only. But that does not mean that the H2 Life can't make hydrogen water, because it can. But the hydrogen water that it makes will be a little bit lower concentration than the hydrogen water made from pure hydrogen alone. Now you may be asking yourself, which system is right for me? There are a few things that you need to think about. You may want a system that's very portable that you can take to the office, you can take on vacation, and take with you as you go. If you want a system that is portable and you can do that with, you probably want the HH450 because it has a nice little handle. You can pick it up, you can take it wherever you go. It's very portable. These other systems are portable, but they're a little bit heavier. This, the HH900 doesn't have any handles on it, but you can pick it up with two hands. The H2 Life is a portable system. It has a carrying handle right here at the top. You can, it's a little bit heavier than these two. The handle makes it so that it's very portable. The HX3000 is, as you can see, a very large machine, very high output. It'll work with two people at the same time. This is good for a, the clinical environment or in your home for two people to be able to inhale at the same time. It does have wheels, so it can be rolled around but not very portable. Studies show that you need at least 120 milliliters per minute of hydrogen gas for it to be beneficial for health. So all these systems are beneficial for health. They all have different outputs and they all have a different price range. So when you're looking for an inhaler, go ahead and look at all four of these inhalers, look at the features and fit one into your price range or your budget. All these inhalers can deliver health benefits. So take a look at the features of each one and decide which one is best for you. So what do our clients purchase the most? Our best selling inhaler is RH2 Life. For the price point, it delivers 1200 milliliters of gas and it's also the simplest to use and the simplest to maintain. All these systems are easy to maintain, but the H2 Life is by far our most popular system. So if you want something portable, or something that has a really high output, or something in between, we have an inhaler for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My email is info at hydrogenforhealth.com. If you have a question, maybe something I didn't answer, just leave a comment below and I will answer your question. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.